Well, hello folks, good morning. Uh, it's still morning, it's just coming up to 12 o'clock. I've had an absolute beast of a morning, yes. So I've managed to get a brew pretty much in the boiler and we're just digging out the spent grain now for batch number two and it's been mad. We've had, uh, we've had the camera chairman out, had a chat with him this morning during the mash. Oh sugar tits. So that's, uh, that put me behind a tad, not, uh, not terrible. Um, and then my sister turned up with her mate. Uh, Stuart's gone for a coffee with him, but I unfortunately had to take a rain check because I couldn't leave, obviously, this batch of beer. And uh, then we had the guy uh, who works for the landlord next door come out and repair the ceiling. You know, the one that they ripped down when Tom was here and uh, take away the glass that they changed the other week as well. So it's been one mad morning. But like I say, managed to stay on top of it. Managed to pretty much hit my numbers for the, uh, for the beer. The beer I'm making today is uh, an Atanum Pale Ale called 6030 because it's made, it's been commissioned actually by uh, Josh and Jim of Beerheads Elk. Um, and it's their birthday, one of them's 60, one of them's 30. Hence the beer name 6030. Uh, so I needed to get that in the ferment quick because their event is happening, I think on the 20th of September. So I've just about got two weeks to turn this beer around. And then after that, we'll have another crack at the Ella Pale Ale that we did for Gal 1. I think it was Gal, yeah, Gal 1. But this time it's going to be tropical and fruity and hopefully on the money with the numbers. And then we'll set up tomorrow for a brew day and we'll do a full batch of the vacant. So this one's only half batch, 250 litres. It just covers the thermoprobe in the kettle, so I should probably do about 270 next time. Make sure that uh, the tanks are all reading correctly on the C panel. But other than that, I'm going to finish clearing this out and uh, well, we'll go from there in terms of picking up footage for the brew day because I'm going at a million miles an hour.
We're truly putting the term multi firmly into multitasking today. This is batch number three, the biggest of the lot. Uh, 500 litre, 550 litre batch of vacant. Following on from a batch of uh, a Tannum pale ale and an Ella pale ale. The Tannum, as we mentioned earlier, I think, is for Jim and Josh at Beer House. 60 30, their ages. The Ella is uh, just for me <laughs> to go in the pub, not for me, totally for me. And then the vacant is obviously the vacant. So whilst I'm chilling one batch to the side of me, I'm mashing in this one and uh, very shortly we'll be transferring that, rinsing that boil kettle out, hopefully just in time for when this mash finishes. And the time is 20 past five. Just starting a 500 litre batch at 20 past five. And now what you're thinking, no, it's not that big. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about my dough balls, of course. But yes, I must be fucking mad. Oh, will you take a look at my porridge? We've hit 9.30, just about. We're doing the final transfer. And obviously I'm not gonna need this hot water for a brew day tomorrow because uh, all my tanks are now full. Scores! But uh, what we are gonna have to do is wash all the sugars and stuff off the floor. So I've got half an HLT full of hot water to rinse everything down with. And the rest of it, well, I'm just hitting the floor. And can we see that? I think you can see that it's actually the floor is steaming. A little bit like my mate over there. He's steaming, bud. <laughs> I think we're doing well. Health and Safety at Work Act 1994. Uh, five or six pints in. There's the burglar alarm. Uh, I think we're going to have brewed one of the best vacants uh, that I've ever brewed when I'm drunk in my life. <laughs> it's going to be a winner. So we're just waiting for this transfer and then we're going to wrap it up. That's it, I'll be totally done. A visitor. Hello. Hello, dear. <laughs> well, I'm finally home, folks, with the lovely Gemma co starring. Uh, it's five past eleven. I would have been back a little bit early, but uh, we did have a slight incident in the brew shed before I left home. Uh, it's not something I can share with you, but maybe I will in a couple of weeks time. Uh, but wow, what a day, what a day we've had today. Uh, it's close on to 14 hours worth of brewing. We got two small batches and a full batch of the vacant in the tanks. And all I'm left to do is see you, Gem. That light is just. <laughs> and, all, <laughs> and all I'm left to do is uh, clean up in the morning when I go in. I've got lots of hot water spare because the new plate chiller worked a damn treat. And uh, I've got some caustic and acid as well to recirc in the tank. So we'll probably stick that on in the morning for a couple of hours and crack on with some other jobs. But other than that, folks, I'm going to wrap it up now. We will see you tomorrow. And. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be back on to the fabrication front of the new pub. Hopefully, getting the back bar in. That's my intention to get done this week. Maybe put the other tables on hold a little bit. Get that back bar in. We'll see you tomorrow.